Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about interfaces anyway, and thought I would uh, double it up as a little chat about interfaces as well as a quick how to hook it up to hopefully answer some of uh, some of the questions that I ran into. So let's get into it. So I started off with a Scarlet Solo. Uh, a lot of uh, beginners start off with the Focusrite. It's a good entry price point and um, decent machinery, I guess. Um, everybody suggests it. Go get a Scarlet. Go get, you know, Solo. Or the 2i2 that has the two plugins instead of just one. And I started off with the Solo because I thought, oh, I'm just going to plug in one microphone. Even if I'm doing streaming, I'll just swap out the microphone that I'm using for voiceover and swap in the mic that I use for my streaming. Pain in the rear, okay? <clears throat> if you need to start off with the less expensive one, okay, sure, start off with the Solo. But if you have a setup like I do with two microphones and you're doing voiceover and you're doing streaming or, or recording for YouTube or a gaming channel or whatever, um, just get the two either the 2i2 or, or like what I went with uh, when I switched, I upgraded to an Audient. So after I upgraded from the Solo, let me tell you about my uh, experience with the Solo. A lot of people say that it's a that it's a good little machine to use, okay, and I'm sure it is, but uh, not long after I got the Solo and was using it for a little while, I started experiencing an intermittent crackling. To this day, never did figure out how or why or what, um, because it was suggested to me to do a couple of different things, a couple of troubleshooting things, swap out XLR cables, because um, I, I originally just bought whatever XLR cable popped up on Amazon first, which was like a six dollar cable. So okay, I can understand needing to um, needing to upgrade my cable possibly. So I upgraded to a Mogami cable, they're $50. I, the one that I had to get was $50 because I have to run it from my, uh, from my setup that's outside my booth to my booth across the room. So I needed a longer cable. The thing was $50, still crackled. So I just said, screw it, I need the two, uh, two plug interface anyway. So I decided to go ahead and upgrade to an Audient and it, everything turned out fine. I'm using the same cable that I was using on the Solo on that little guy right there, my uh, uh, MXL 990 for, you know, just for some uh, gaming recording, some streaming. And the $50 Mogami cable is hooked up to my CAD that's in my booth. Um, haven't experienced any crackling on either on either microphone. Everything has been just fine and dandy. So I don't know if it was a the a problem with the solo or if they're having some quality control issues or what. I, I don't know, but there you go. So I upgraded to an audience and I like it. We'll go ahead and go through some of the uh, some of the quick quick setup. Assuming I can maneuver my way back behind my computer because it's kind of a mess. It's kind of a big flaming steaming mess. So we'll see. All right, audience. Um, this is not the solo. It's not bright red. So the solo has all of your plugs, your XLR plugs in the front. Uh, don't let this thing fool you. The plugs are in the back. It hooks up the exact same way. Um, so you've got your gain knobs here. You've got your power knobs here. I had to turn my uh, MXL microphone off while I was recording in with my CAD earlier because I could hear a little bit of a, a little bit coming through my headphone here with this so I had to turn it off. So that's off. That's on. Um, here's your gain for your volume for each of the microphones. One, two. Um, here's a little on the audience you've got a knob for your headset and a bunch of different uh, um, features that you can get into with the, the software that um, that you can download with this. I haven't messed with that yet. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of features that musicians use when they're mastering their musical tracks. I haven't messed with that yet, so just ignore that for now. Um, it's going to have, instead of these switches, your Scarlet's going to have uh, a button in the front for your 48 volt, uh, for your 48V power. You are going to have your headset plug-in. So this is for your headset. 
I'm not going to show you the mess of wires that I had behind, so I'm using Sennheiser at the moment. Um, I've used Audio-Technica, and the Audio-Technicas were very comfortable. I liked how they sat on my head and over my ears, um, but I kind of like the sound out of the Sennheisers better. So these aren't necessarily quite as comfortable for me, for my head, but um, but I like the sound better. So, And I had to change out the cable for the Sennheiser because coiled phone cable type coiled madness just irritated the hell out of me. So you can, with these, switch out to a non-coiled cord, and I love it. So that is just going to go into your headphone jack. Just like that. Now, some of your headphones are going to come with an adapter. Is I have to hold on. Hold on for dear life. Okay. Um, this is not exactly the best way to be doing this, but uh, it, there we go. Okay. Some of them are going to come with an adapter. It will either be, it will either look like this right in the box with this little doohickey rolling around in it separately, or it'll already be attached. All you do is you just hook it on there and screw it in really, really good, and pop it back into your headphone jack. There you go. All right, now we're going to swing around the back way uh, to, to look at the XLR cable plugs. Now pay no attention to the mess. So on my audience, the XLR plugs are in the back. Here's, I've got two of them plugged in because I got the MXL plugged in on one side, and my CAD plugged in to the uh, to the other. There was some confusion. Somebody was asking, "Is your mic an MXL or a USB?" And the person who um, who was having questions about the setup said USB. I'm not sure if I missed something in the um, in the thread, but the confusion is, is that the interface itself is a USB device. This cord right here is the USB cord that plugs into the computer. And my tower is back there. This cord right here is the uh, the adapter cable that plugs into the wall or power strip. In my case, I've got a power strip down there with everything plugged into it. Please don't report me to the fire department. So this cord right here is the USB cord that goes into your computer. Your microphone that plugs into the interface is an XLR, and the, your XLR cables are back here. They plug right into here. One of them, one of them is plugged into my CAD right down here. Um, now I have the Fethead Phantom. Just ignore that. You're, if you don't have the Fethead, your XLR cable is going to go straight into your microphone, right into the bottom end of your microphone. So there's that. There's my little iPad setup. I got a new, a new setup for my iPad. So yeah, that wasn't exactly what I was originally planning on uh, chatting about when I was going to chat about interfaces. I really wanted to know everybody else's experience between the different interfaces. Um, you know, the uh, Focusrite Scarlet stuff, the Solo or the um, or the 2i2 is the entry level gear. Um, audience kind of a, I think a step up up from that. I'm curious to know if folks have had good experiences with Audient, um, Audient combined with a Neumann. You know, a slightly better step up of a, a, for a microphone. But I just thought I would take the opportunity to, to show the setup real quick for some other questions that I had run into. So hopefully I can answer some questions and ask some of my own. So there you go. Feel free to comment. Uh, comments, questions, concerns down below, and let me know what you think. Hopefully this helped. Thanks. So we're going to come with an adapter. If... if Can you kindly show me where the spider is, please? <laughs> Mother.